Hi, my name is Michael. I'm based at Five Degrees North, and I'm going to be doing a rig rundown of my gear. So, if we start off with my base, this is a Fender American Pro 2 P bass. I love it, it sounds great. It's got a really warm, Motowny sound. You know, I do like P bass especially in rock, but I like having the warmth and the versatility of this bass. And you know, it's got really good specs, good bridge, string through body. Carved out neck heel so you can get to the really high, really high notes. Really great, really great neck. Really good, just an all round, you know, workhorse of a bass. It's been beaten to shit. Every gig I've ever played has been on this bass. And now, where my sound really comes from is the pedal board. So, the main workhorses of my sound is my Boss OC5, which is an octave pedal. You can go up and you can go down, you can go to sub, you know, 808 territory if you really want. And then, my Big Muff. This is a really scooped, dark big buff, you know, really good bass. Gets that synth sound amazing. And then when you whack the phaser on, you know, just synth territory. And then when I don't really want all the way the fuzz, you know, the massive high gain sound, I use my Boss bass overdrive, which these days pretty much always on, along with my compressor, which just makes things tight because I'm a sloppy player. And then this is like where all my other effects are used. So one of our songs, Carver Lane, in the middle eight, there's a massive synth section, and I just whack this on, and it gives a massive synth sound. And I've got another synth sound, which doesn't have a boost on it, for the verses. And then, over here, pitch shift, whack this thing on, makes the pitch shift go up slowly, which I like doing, because when there's awkward silences, it makes it less awkward. And yeah, that's it. So the amp I usually use live, well, if I'm not using the back line, is my Orange Terabase 500. It's a good Motown amp, it's quite a dark sounding amp. I'm probably going to replace it with some sort of Ashdown in the future, but for home use, with my Mustang bass as well, my J&J Mustang, there's a picture right there. That's when Bobby's going to put it on that side. Uh, yeah, it's good for that sound at home, but live, you know, I'm mostly just DIing from my pedal board. And getting that drive sound but yeah that's the amp i use and then two ash down cabs a 210 and a 115 and yeah in most of the gigs like i like to use this like on songs like now i know it's pretty really loud on songs like now i know i'm kind of using that in the choruses and when the verses kick in put the phaser on sound and I love it and then my drive so Carver Lane, Pandora, any song which just needs a bit of you know mm, bit of that just whack this on and then that just gives me like a nice bit of a meaty more driving sound so makes it sound like an amping SVT that sort of sound then also on Carver Lane this is gonna be really fucking loud uh, I've got a synth part and I don't know if this is going to make us go deaf, it probably is. So that's for the middle eight, and then for the verses. But, that's basically it. I use a noise gate just to time things up. Also, because I'm a sloppy player, you know, noise gates and compressors just make everything sound tight and they make you sound better but that is a uh, that's my rig rundown i was going to say there's not much to it but there probably is